according to the teachings of Islam, the best transactions we can make in our lives are those with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the form of good actions for his sake. Quran chapter 57 verse 18 says, For those who give in charity, men and women, and loan to Allah a beautiful loan, it shall be increased manifold and they shall have a liberal reward. Ashraf Islamic Foundation celebrate Eid al-Kabir with the internally displaced persons in adherence to the teaching of Islam. The founder, Sheikh Sharafuddin Abdul Salam Aliago, and his members visited Durumi IDP camp and made it a happy place by sharing the blessings Allah has provisioned them with. I am short of words. I nearly share my tears because the way I had the, 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 the response from them, what they are perceived here, especially in terms of medical aspect. I didn't expect that. And at the same time, also in education aspect, in, in this century, we are expected to see, like I, I'm, I'm observing, I'm looking at the, 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 the children on ground. Over six months now, they have shot from school, not going to the school. At least, at least, sorry? Six years. six years, sorry. Six years now, they are not going to the school. And we call ourselves Nigerian. What our government doing? This is what government is supposed to take the responsibility to come and take charge, to come and take control. Because our this is our future Nigerian. We don't know who are, who is who. Maybe from one of them will come to, tomorrow to be our president. To be. we are family of Ashraf organization. This is what we used to do every year in familiarizing ourselves and our organization with the known or less privilege in our community. And it's not the first time that we have been doing this, but this year's own, we try to make it in a spectacular way. And by the time we got here, we were somehow disappointed because the number of the uh, displaced people that we used to see here this year, they are in multiple. So that is why we are here. And again, as we come here, what we used to do is to make sure that we make those, most especially the children and their parents that are here, displaced from their various states, we make them to, uh, to feel happy and feel among that we are all together, irrespective of their tribe, their language, their religion, their color, their ethnicity. So far, we are all human beings, even irrespective of their religion. So far, we are all human beings. We are created by one God, and we are all the same thing. So that is why we used to come here every year like this in making them to feel among. But this year's own, I promised them before that this Ashraf Islamic Foundation, we used to do many things for them. But this year's own, we are making another or taking another milestone by making them having the rest of mind that ah, what we are seeing on the ground, the women leader have said something that no any helper from anywhere. And I've reassured her that if no any helper, they should know that Allah is their helper. Gifts ranging from beverages, food items, kilograms of meat and spices were among the gifts shared. Also visited were persons with disabilities in Karmajiji Airport Road Abuja. They had their shares of goodies from the foundation. A live ram was presented for slaughter. Food items and complimentary cash gifts were shared to the delight. <laughs> Fisheries. Al Haji Mohammed Suleiman Katsina, head of the PWDs in Karmajiji, could not hide his joy as he thanked Ashraf Islamic Foundation for easing lives of many with these kind gestures. Royal fathers who witnessed these gestures were district head of Piba, His Royal Highness Chief Emmanuel Gadi, Oba Yoruba of Buari, Oba Deleke, Oba Yoruba Apu, Iyaloja of Lagos, Imam Shuai Baba Moli Murtada. Children were not left out of the occasion as Ashraf Islamic Foundation provided them with a bouncing castle to the delight of all music and entertainment. Also made available 
to show that the IDPs and the PWDs are not alone while hoping for a pathway to a better life. Mohamed Jinadu, Voice TV Nigeria.